Hello my friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing a fun video where... Prison lingo. Prison lingo. Adam is going to test my knowledge of prison lingo. I told him that I'm probably gonna be really good at this because I watch all the prison YouTubers but we'll see. And OCD husband has all of his prison lingo terminology uh, categorized into different <laughs> categories. So why don't you explain before You're you get started? You're secrets here. Well, I thought they, they're not secrets if we're sharing them. All right, well, I guess we're gonna share that part too. As I was going through this, I just started breaking it up into people, places, and things so we could kind of just stay on topic and flow from one to the next. And what I was thinking is that we start off kind of like we're taking a tour. It's gonna to be a prison tour, so. Ooh, you just took it to a whole next level. Yeah, That's why I keep them around. Here we go. We're gonna start out with places. Okay. So, generally, when, when I begin ready to head out, I say, hey, why don't we meet up at Chow? Chow is easy. What is that? It's like the dining room, like the cafeteria. Okay. But it's the same as the military. I think that's how I know it. Chow hall, yeah. yeah. Same thing as the military. Dining hall. But there's another distinction. What about main line? Main line is the line. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going with this? It's the line. Okay. When I, oh, I got this. When you go into the main meal, which is lunch. Okay. All of the staff and the officers line up against the wall and you call it main line. The inmates have to walk through main line to get to where they serve the food. That's absolutely right. And if you, you told me that and if you ever went through main line and started talking like this, they would have you on the wall. There's so, so many fast. times in jail. How do they <laughs> communicate? Not like that. What do the mafia guys do though? They're like do they cuff them to walk through mainline? Careful now. No, really. What do they I, do? If I sat on my hands or were handcuffed, I'd be mute. So how do these people mm, make it? Very carefully. Okay, keep going. Very carefully. I'm two for two. All right, so you got chow and mainline. Mainline, I was impressed with that one. I learned it from you. Okay, well, I don't know how much you're paying attention to here, how much you picked up. Okay. So if we were going to go from mainline, main let me catch, we'll catch up at mainline and then we'll head to the yard. The yard is the playground. Playground? What do you mean the playground? <laughs> I said it like that on purpose. The playground? It's the playground. Go ahead, shoot, explain to me what the playground is. It's the playground. It's where you go outside and it is a grassy field. <laughs> and <laughs> the, don't ruin the visualization of all the hot shirtless men on the prison yard with like okay. volleyball courts and tracks <laughs> and there's all these really buff guys. So so that's what the yard is up here, right? That is what the yard is forever. Sounds good. When you go to the yard. When you, you go to the yard. When you go to the yard and you gotta pass through the flea market. The flea market. The flea market. Oh, you might have got me on this one. The fl is the flea market the same as the store? What do you mean? Can you only pass the flea market on the way to the yard or you just so happened on the way to this yard to pass the flea market? No, you're gonna pass the flea market. On the unit. On the yard. It has to be on the yard. Yeah, it's Is that yard. where people are doing handoffs? Mm, yeah. With commissary yeah. goods that they're reselling? That's one thing. At the flea market? At the flea market. Is it like the store guy owns a flea market? Could be. But it could not be. What would you know? What would a flea market be out here? Like different yeah, go vendors that sell things. Same thing. It's Is actually this, the same thing. But like, it's not. It's not like legal, right? In jail, like you get away with it, but I mean, it's it's a hustle. Like generally, when you go to the yard, yeah, the flea market guys will have. They'll put a towel the out. Store or guy. That's what out. I said. It might not just be the store guy. Store guy is generally. We'll get into that. Store guy's kind of more specific, but- Like legit though, they put these a blanket are, these out? These are store guys, yeah. They, they literally put a blanket out and whatever they got. We got cards, we got magazines. They're allowed to do We've that? got commissary, we got, I mean- They um, get away with it. It's, it depends. It depends on, you know, if, if they, who's working. Did I get What that? you can get away with. I would say you kind of got that. Well, you get like half credit for that. Okay. 
head out to the flea market, you know what I mean? You're looking for a pair, a new pair of kicks, something that, you know, you're not going to find on the unit. Everybody comes to yard and that's where all the transactions take place. Does the flea market happen in the winter too? Yeah, you know, like yeah. in the gym. Say it's in the gym. Oh, okay. We're going to hit the flea market. It's going to be whenever you come to the yard, whether that means the gym inside or outside, it's generally in a place where everybody's got to pass through. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like going through the checkout at like the Walmart or, or the grocery store and you've got all those last minute things to yeah, like yeah, get yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, I, I need Reference. some of that. Let me, let me get that. Got it. Yep. The yard. What's another name? If I say I'm, I'm heading out to the yard or I'm heading to... Wreck? What? Yo, I swear I did not give her the notes for this. She did not see my notes. I didn't because we're very competitive. Mm -hmm. The wreck yard. A wreck yard. Yeah. Okay. And you could say it interchangeably like we're, we're going to head out to wreck. Which is also the gym. Which is also the gym. I've done my homework. It depends. Some places have gyms, some don't. And you might also hit the weight pile. The weight pile? You're asking what that is? Yeah, what's the weight That's pile? like the weights. That's weights, weights that you lift and barbells and all of that stuff. Yeah, I learned that one from somebody. Go hit the weight pile? Yeah. All right. So the weight pile, let's see, where have we been so far? We went out to chow. We ate, we played, we lifted. Went out to wreck, hit the flea market on the way, stopped by, hit the weight pile, got our workout in. Now it's time to head where? You tell me. You're well, leading this tour. Well, let's go to the block. Oh, the block is the housing unit. Okay. Or if I say I'm going to the house. A lot of this stuff I had to piece together on my own from our very first visits. <laughs> no, I did. Like, he'd be like, the block. And then the more he said it, I'm like, oh, got it. Okay, the unit. And you never asked back then. There's certain things that we just say. That you don't, yeah. You start to take for granted. Yeah. Like, I'm going to head back to the house or the block. House could also mean... Cell. So. Man! I just pay attention to you. Okay. I'm impressed. I'm definitely impressed. What about if I'm on my way back to the house, I gotta pass through the shack? I know this one from you. It's where they shake you down. It's like metal detectors. Yeah. He mentioned the shack all the time in visit. The shack's generally a central location. A lot of times, depending on the yard that you're on, the whole yard, you're gonna have metal detectors everywhere. Metal detector is back at the house, at the gym, going into the yard. Sometimes there's a turnstile, but there's generally a shack. There's some place in between where it doesn't matter where you're going, you're gonna hit the metal detectors again. So yeah, the shack. The shack is also where, oh, hey, they called you down in the shack. Oh yeah? Yep. And what did they do? I got called to the shack. Is that times. to get sh shaken down? Do you remember what it was for? When I got called to the shack, my yeah, dad they called for me, I had to go to the shack. When you got in trouble for strong prison lives. Oh uh, yeah, that was definitely, that was one of them. Sometimes it wasn't bad. What would be a reason to get called to the shack for something good though? Well, I'm not gonna say it was necessarily good. The last time I got called to the shack before I got out, I was down at work, I was down in the shop. They called me to, hey, they called for you at the shack. For me, I knew, I said, oh, I'm going out on medical. Oh, got it, okay. So they called me to the shack. It's like central location, sort of. Yeah, kind of. But that when they don't want you to know exactly, like I just, mm. I know that I'm waiting to go out. I'm supposed to go for, to get the shot from my back. So I'm already kind of Put anticipating. Together. Yeah. And it's funny because at the time I'm waiting on good news and I'm like, is this it? But when they say the shack, I'm like, eh, probably not. Yeah. It's probably not good news. I'm probably just going for a ride. And it was not the kind of ride that I wanted because to go out for medical, I'm handcuffed, I'm shackled, I'm in a black box. I'm all twisted up, and by the time I get to wherever I'm going, whatever this medical place is, I'm so sore, the circulation's cut off in my hands and my feet, my back is hurting. I'm crammed in the back of a van. I'm not a small guy, and they make you sit in that tiny little seat in between. You can't go where there's more room. But I like, stay right here. actually told this whole story on a video. Did you? But it was called Oof. something like Lifer was allowed to leave prison and couldn't wait to go back. Something along those lines. And that's your last trip that's out. That's honest. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah, link that I video did not want to be there. I really didn't even want to take the trip. That's another story. So sometimes you guys get caught up in the shack. Yeah. And end up taking the trip to the hole. Yeah. What's the hole? What's the hole? The hole is the shoe. Which is the shoe. The shoe. Tell me which. S H U. Which is not to be confused with S H O E, which is what I thought it was the first time. 
I want to say I'm, I'm going between two things, but I think it's solitary housing unit or single housing unit or help me out here. It's either a special housing special. unit. Special. It's a nice way of putting it right. Special housing unit. Yeah. Or segregation housing unit. Ah, uh, seg. ASEG. ASEG? Isn't that something else they call it? Uh, ADSEG? ADSEG, that's it. ADSEG would be administrative segregation. What's that? What's the difference? You have AD and DS. Administrative segregation, disciplinary segregation. Ah, uh, so it's if you check in. PC? Mm, could be. Okay. What's PC? Protective custody. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you're good at this game. Is that a good or a bad thing? Uh, well, you know, I mean, it's experience, right? Yeah, that's sad. So, AD, here's a catch, something that a lot of people don't understand the way that the whole works. It's not like when you get charged out here on, on the street, they take you to the county jail. Immediately when you're locked up, whatever happens with your case, from that day, from the day that you're arrested, you get time credit for. Supposed to, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be counted towards that. It doesn't work like that in prison. When you get arrested, taken to the hole for something, and written a charge, you don't get credit. You sit back there in administrative AD, waiting to see Ooh. the DHO, who's... Ooh. Discipline, disciplinary housing officer? Disciplinary hearing officer. There you go. I just, that one, didn't You got happen. that one? Yeah. So you gotta go see DHO, who's gonna make a determination on whether or not you're guilty. Always guilty. Yeah, really never seen anybody get not guilty. And then it's how much time. Now, it's the same thing. This guy is judge, jury, everything. <laughs> or woman. And they're gonna say, okay, yeah, here's what you did. Here's the time. It's a 100 or a 200 or 300, whatever the level of charge is. We're gonna give you this many days over in DS. Is that a diff, okay, two questions. And yes. these feel stupid, but one, is it a different level of torture? So like, is ADSEG a little bit of a better situation or they're both horrible? No. There's nothing different in this house. There is absolutely nothing different. You go from this wing That's over to That this was wing. my second question. So it's, it's a different exactly wing. it's exactly the same. And they're both just hell. Yeah, it's yeah. exactly the same thing. But while you're back there, Sometimes you get dry cell. I know what dry cell does from you. What is a dry cell? A dry cell, I know it's 100% from the hamburger. A dry cell is a <laughs> cell with no running water. And the reason you'd get thrown in a dry cell is if they think that you swallowed a package and they wait for you to defecate so that package would come out. So there's no water, so you can't flush it down the toilet or any kind of drain. Theoretically, yeah, a dry cell is meant to make sure that whatever comes out stays stays out. It doesn't always. Oh yeah, yeah I mean, use your imagination. Oh, next question. Guys will go to great lengths. Mm. Just saying. To keep the package or to stay out of jail? Both. Mm. I've seen both. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Dry cells, yeah, not cool. I only know that because half the time in visit when someone would get dragged out of there, Adam would be like, oh, he's going to a dry cell. Yeah, that sucks. The hole being in say is bad enough, but ending up in a dry cell, I mean, that's even, that's worse. Oof, it that's like just terrible. Worse torture. What about when you are out and about? Okay. Being able to take a trip. Are you going out? R&D? No. Oh. R&D, you know what R&D is? Yes, I know the theory, but the, I don't know the words. Is it receiving and departures? There you go. Oh, okay. That was an easy one, right? Yeah. Really I did, didn't know those words until you got out. Really? Yeah. I mean, I knew what R&D was because of all the years we talked about it, but I didn't know what the two letters stood for. Okay, okay. let's go back. When things are going well, I'm at the house. <laughs> In your cell. In my cell, but I'm planning to hit the dance floor. Dance floor is when we made up, right? We made that up? No. I thought we made that up. No. You, I mean, you made it, something sure, special. Yeah, we made that up. Yeah. The dance floor, as far as I'm aware, is what we made up, what we call visit. Yep. But we didn't make that up. I, I, I don't think I we feel so slighted. That. Dance floor or VI. VI. Got a VI. Visit. Yeah. Or visa. I don't know why VI, but. Visit. Ah. <laughs> 
I didn't know that was two words, but sure, yeah, we'll roll with that. Vi. Viz it. Yeah. <laughs> V-I-Z. Viz. I-T. Two words. Yeah. Visit. All right, so what else we got here? What about going up top? Total guess, top bunk. Yeah, I mean, that serves for that too, but it's not nah, right. he, he's got to go up top. Go up top. He's got to check in. Ah, uh, what's that mean, check in? Check in means put yourself in the hole, like protective custody. Which was also, you said, PC earlier. Yeah. 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 Got to send him up top. He's got to go up. Wow. No, that's when you... No. Huh. Okay. Well, we generally, do, you know, don't have these conversations. I'm not going to tell you like, oh, yeah, hey, so-and-so had to go up top. No, you were always very good about that kind of stuff with me. Yeah. But do you know where that stems from? I can't tell you exactly. I don't know for sure. Hmm. Okay. You know, some of these things just are unique, say, to a specific spot. Sure. Where, say, a facility is on a hill. Sure, that makes sense. Seg is up there. Yeah. Yo, we got to send him up. Send yeah. him up top. Yeah. I read that in Orange is the New Black. They would say she's got to go up the hill, meaning back up to the pen. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, that too. Yeah. What about pill line? Pill line is where you go to get your medications. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's he's going to pill line again. Nightly pill line. Generally, anybody that's on pill line, well, it depends. I mean, uh, you have certain guys that that need to go to get their meds, but you have carry on, and then you have night pill line. Carry on is going to be like you go down and you pick up. Say someone's on cholesterol meds. Okay. Statins. Okay. They're going to give you the statins, or you're going down for Motrin. You have chronic inflammation or pain but if you're someone that needs like a diabetic shot if you're uh, someone who let's say you're on something maybe like a psych med you need something to sleep any of the harder things you got to go down and they actually watch as you yeah 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 they do the whole but there's ways you can get away with that too oh man mm. Yeah, you, you don't even want to know. So that was basically all the places. We took a little trip around the facility. I think okay. we covered pretty much everything. Okay, so we took a tour around the facility. I think we're gonna stop here. If you're interested in watching that video where Adam left prison, it's the whole story. And then he came back from when they took you out the night before to everything. That was a really good video. Uh, I'll link it right there if you're not already subscribed. You probably want to do that, especially because we're going to keep going with these in the next video. Hit that button there or the red box below. We love you guys, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.